Hi guys, so I wanted to tell you guys something that's been going on in my life. This is crazy to believe and it's hard for myself to even believe it still to this day. I never imagined something like this that could happen to me. I wanted to share this with you just because I know a lot of you look up to me and I feel like what I'm gonna tell you is a way that could help not just me, but also for you guys to be able to get closer to me and you know, together we can fight through anything and I really wanna be able to spread more awareness. I really wanna share this with you guys. I feel like you guys can relate to me or anything like similar to my situation. So now back to the story, the actual story that's actually really going on. Back in August, I started to feel different than normal days. Like I was starting to feel mentally exhausted physically and i was just confused what was going on and then it started affecting me physically where my fingers <laughs> were like i obviously i have um reynolds syndrome where like your fingers or like your hands when you're exposed to like the cold weather they like turn like white and then like they turn like really blue and they, i experienced that i've experienced that since i was in high school but i never thought anything of it i just thought it was normal like maybe other people go through that too but then around like end of august i was trying to take out my fall decoration and i was up on a ladder trying to take down a, like a heavy box because i was really excited for the fall and like i know it was like still summertime but i really wanted to be like the first <laughs> one to do it just because like the last year I put it on way too late and that's why i wanted to get ahead this time so i was trying to take down the box and then i almost fell back on the ladder and i was able to like find my balance push the back the box back up but then like i felt like i hurt my back so this has like everything to do with it guys like because at this point i didn't have insurance i haven't been to like the doctors in years so whenever i like got like the injury i think i tore something in my shoulder and i had to wear like a sling around like early september i was really down bad or to the point where i would wake up and i could not even hold my phone i was trying my best to grab my phone i couldn't pick it up like i didn't have the strength my hands were really really like numb it was such a weird feeling like i didn't know what was going on i couldn't even like lock my phone like being a strong girl i am like i was fighting through the pain i just pushed through life but then it started getting worse like where it was like affecting my feet in the morning like i would struggle to get out of bed i could whenever i would wake up in the morning try to go to use the bathroom i could barely even walk because my feet my toes were like doing the same thing my hands were it was one of like the scariest times of my life where i didn't know what was going on with my body and i thought oh i must have like hurt something in my back that's affecting like my nerves and then so i finally got insurance in january and i got blood work done i told them what happened with the box like i feel like i affected something in my spinal cord or like my nerves something was going on with me that i can't hold my phone i'm experiencing all these symptoms and whenever i got my blood test results back the doctor ended up telling me we're gonna have to do further testing i'm gonna have to send you to a, a rheumatologist and i did more blood work there and then i was end up being told that i have lupus so in january i was diagnosed officially with lupus once i got further testing um, I was officially diagnosed with my, through the rheumatologist that it's lupus that I was going through. So I was diagnosed with lupus. For those of you who don't know what lupus is, lupus is an inflammatory disease caused when the immune system attacks its own tissues. It can affect the joints, skin, kidneys, blood cells, brain, heart, and lungs. Luckily, I caught it right on time. Like I feel like if I didn't lift that heavy box where I I felt like I definitely damaged something in my back. I wouldn't have never went to the doctors. Like, I feel like everything happens for a reason, for sure. Like, you guys know Selena Gomez, she has lupus, but sadly, her got really bad to the point where she had to have a whole kidney transplant. Luckily, I was in time and it hasn't affected my kidneys, not yet at least. Hopefully, it doesn't get to that point. But it is a constant struggle every single day, like living with this. Like, my fingers swell up. I struggle to do my makeup and now it all makes sense. Also, like, when I would work out and stuff, I would feel exhausted right away. Like, I feel like it's kind of like progressing, but I am on medication now where it's gonna help my lupus but it's not gonna kick in until like three or four months so i don't know by that time like how else it's gonna affect me so i'm just gonna try my best to really turn my life around really learn how to like love myself and appreciate my body more i'm gonna try my best to go vegan because i heard like going vegan helps with lupus like it helps the inflammation 
um, a lot of like the symptoms it helps it at least it will make me feel better I hope you have to always like think positive guys like I'm not sad about this I'm not scared because I know I'm strong I've been through a lot already I can go through another thing whatever life wants to throw at me and I know I'm gonna be okay because I have really good friends family and an amazing boyfriend which is right here I was just talking about you how you've been helping me a lot with my new journey hey do you want to tell them how you've been helping me or how you feel about this like what were your first thoughts of hearing what i have yeah honestly it was heartbreaking for me to hear the news because I'm, I'm also new to like the disease lupus and but ever since she was diagnosed with it i did learn a lot more um more a lot the, uh, more about the disease so i'm gonna be here for you <laughs> I just wanted to be okay. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry gonna, guys, I got emotional. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for you. I didn't know I was gonna end up crying. I, I feel, I know I'm gonna be okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm here for you, no matter what, so. I, I, I don't wanna cry. I just cried because you saw him crying. Um, I also wanna mention that like lupus, there's like a lot of people don't really know what it is because it's, it's considered an autoimmune disease and for lupus there's no there's no cure it's only going like, to keep progressing just try your best to stay healthy out there yeah you, you guys have to really um eat healthy i this is my first time crying on camera <laughs> but i'm strong um i'm gonna fight this i'm not gonna let let it affect my organs nothing I'm gonna be strong. And it's because I have an amazing support system and this is just a new journey for us. Like I really have to take care of myself now. And Lucas has been amazing with like taking me to the hospital, helping me with doctor appointments. Like there's a there's a lot of things to learn. Today was actually a struggle for me, like um, even with the medication I'm taking today. My lupus really did affect me. I was feeling, I'm starting to feel pain in my lower back. Um, I have to get that checked out soon, but I just want to wait it out a little bit more and see if it's maybe, maybe I walk too much. If I did have a busy day and maybe that's why it's hurting my, my, maybe my back is hurting just from walking a lot or from stress. Like I had to really take care of my stress levels now. I can't be too stressed out, otherwise I swell up. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that part is on me. I can't make you stressed out. Yeah, don't make me stressed out. <laughs> yeah. I feel like this is, uh, out of all this, something good is going to happen. So. Yeah, I know I'm going to defeat this. I know I'm going to cure this. And it's all going to be a change of lifestyle that's going to help me become the best, bestest, bestest version of myself from now on. And yeah. I'm going to eat, eat healthy. Hopefully, I'll gain a booty out of this because <laughs> the, the medication does make you gain weight. So if you guys see me a little puffy, Today my face is a little swollen. I definitely feel it. Yeah. Thanks for supporting her through all this now. Yeah, but uh, she's gonna be trying her best to obviously still post videos and stuff. So. Yeah. Hopefully, I so I can continue making videos. I wanted you guys to be a part of my my journey. I really was hesitant about posting or even like filming this at all because I'm embarrassed. You know, I never thought this is something that could have happened to me. But I know this is gonna help a lot of you too at the same time. So that's why it motivated me to tell you guys, like this isn't, this is embarrassing for me to, to even share. A lot of people are quite happy that you're sharing your story though. Yeah. Cause it can help a lot more people out there. And no matter what, maybe they have another disease or another health condition they're going through, or maybe they know someone that are, is going through something yeah. like this. And I feel like many of you guys think like our life is perfect that we're, you know, we're blessed, which we are blessed, but there's a lot of things that happen behind the cameras, you know, there's a lot of things that we go through personally. He, Lucas went through his own things. I went through mine. Even Christian, you went through your own stuff. Like we, we all like, no matter how much we show up, like the happy sides of our lives that you guys see, we are constantly going through our own battles in our like mind and just in our lives in general. But this is like a good thing for you guys to know too. So you guys know that you're not alone you know if you're struggling or going through something 
there's just know that there's always a light at the end of the tunnel no matter how how dark it may seem but there's a way out of it and i'm gonna fight and kick lucas's butt not lucas right lucas right <laughs> yours, yours too, yours don't kick my butt yours too i can i still got some strength in me well i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who supports me who loves me who wishes the best for me like i wish the best for you as well and i do appreciate every single one of you and for those of you who watched to the end of the video i really do appreciate it like i hope i hope we all learn something from my my story you know i hope you guys learn a little something from it and hopefully it reminds you to take better care of yourselves and just know you're not alone we're all we all go through things treat every day as if it were to be your last day and appreciate life in general thank you so much for watching guys and we love you yeah. bye